guys welcome to today's video so guys today's video is all about nishani nishane however you want to say it y'all i didn't realize that nishani was one of my favorite fragrance houses <laughs> i mean i have so many favorite fragrance houses but honestly all my nishani fragrances are bangers i mean the performance is excellent the scent is excellent the projection the sillage the compliments everything about these fragrances i love okay so i wanted to spotlight them for you today because tomorrow i'm having my sale with soavantgarde.com and you can save 30 percent on nishani and other fragrances site-wide with the exception of mind games you can save 30 percent with my code aisha30 so i figured today would be the perfect day to spotlight and highlight these fragrances i did a nishani video two years ago to spotlight some of the fragrances since then my collection has grown so i want to share with you what's new and if you're new here and you haven't watched that video please don't watch that video we're going to talk about the same tea but a little bit more here today so if you're interested please continue to watch make sure you're subscribed to my channel make sure the red button is gray okay make sure you thumbs up the video let me know that you love my content and also leave me a comment so we can get to know each other leave me your sense of the day leave me what you like leave me what you don't like let's just talk okay that's how we get to know each other and you guys can make friends in the comment section as well <laughs> so before we get into the fragrances i want to speak about the hair and body oils y'all if you're no stranger here you know that i love oils okay i love oils when people say they don't like oils they don't like how oil feels against their skin i'm like really why like i just love a good body oil body oils dry oils perfume oils just give me all the oils now these oils are hair and body oils they're not going to absorb into your skin fully like a dry body oil but i love that because it leaves a nice sheen on your skin and for me i love when my skin has a nice luminous glow it doesn't feel sticky it doesn't feel oily but it definitely gives your skin a nice glow you can save 30 percent on all of these body oils these hair and body oils guys because they are all in stock okay i'm so happy so this is tuberosa if you have any tuberose fragrance get this to layer with your tuberose fragrances if you don't have tuberosa by nishani it is okay because you definitely have i'm gonna assume that you have some type of a fragrance with the note of tuberose or white florals in your collection get this because when i tell y'all the oils are very fragrant okay you don't have to fish around for the scent as soon as you pop the top you will be able to smell the scent y'all oh listen to me when i tell you when products are fragrant it just i just look at the company and the brand just with such admiration and awe because here's the thing there's a lot of companies that produce fragrant body oils or fragrance oils like let's say parfum zamali delina i have that oil y'all and i was so excited to get it it retails for a hundred dollars more than these retail for and the scent is so weak it is so faint like where is the scent it is just a dry body oil and i don't need a hundred dollar unscented oil like if i'm gonna do that i'm gonna go to target walmart whatever i don't need to spend a hundred dollars on a body oil that's not fragrant these y'all are fragrant okay and they smell just like the fragrance if you're someone that doesn't like perfume or you don't want like heavy perfume you can wear these and keep it pushing you don't even need to spray a fragrance on top because that's how fragrant they are okay so when i'm telling you that something is fragrant please believe it believe it please because these are very loud in scent and like i said it leaves your skin with a nice glow do you see that it's just a nice little healthy glow it's not anything too shiny nothing too greasy it's not giving crisco okay it's giving luxury body oil so like i said this is tuberosa and you can layer this with any of your tuberose fragrances the other one the first one that i talked about that but didn't really talk about is hachibat beautiful woody pineapple fragrance and this is the only one that has this um white bottle and these are all glass guys heavy beautiful glass bottles if you're into packaging you need this so like i said it's pineapple it's woody it's beautiful you can layer this with so many of your other pineapple woody fragrances if you don't have hachibat it is okay because this oil is going to go with other fragrances if you love pineapple if you love woody you need this 
another one. This is Wulang Cha. Y'all, if you love citrus green tea-like fragrances, for the summer, the Wulang Cha scent is incredible. But we're going to get to it in a hot little second. The oil, guys, if you don't have that fragrance, but you just love woody, green, fresh tea-like scents, this, guys, I feel like can go with any of your summer fragrances. If you have summer freshies, green fragrances, fragrances like Chance, um, not Otandra, Chance, um, y'all know the Chance in the green, <laughs> with the green juice? That smells like you can wear this, layer that with this. You can layer this with any of your like Dylan Blue or any of your citrus, bright, fresh scents for the spring and summer. Wulang Cha is the one to have. And it's going to intensify the scent of your citrus fragrances. Another one, 100 Silent Ways. It's the peach, it's the vanilla, it's the tuberose. This is such a beautiful, classy scent, and the oil paired with 100 Silent Ways or any of your white floral fragrances. Trust me when I tell you, you don't just have to have the fragrance. It's nice to pair the two, to layer them together to intensify the scent, but these oils are so beautiful, y'all. They layer with other fragrances. I layer these with so many other fragrances and get my life, I'm telling you. And the last one, Ani. I mean, <laughs> This is the best, one of the best spicy ginger vanilla fragrances ever, okay? Ani is a masterpiece, deserves all the hype, and the oil is super fragrant. I will say that this one, this particular nozzle, it was giving me problems at, oh, it came out, okay, because it was giving me a little problems at one point. It's just a beautiful hair and body oil. Now, for me, guys, I'm not into hair oils, well, for my scalp, but not like these type of oils, like hair oil, but not um, perfume oils. Um, so I'm not putting any of this in my hair, but definitely on your skin, on your body, this is everything, y'all. And like I said, Ani, this can pair with Ani. This can pair with your gin some ginger fragrances. This can pair with your vanilla fragrances. This can pair with Zerjoff Lyra. This just goes with a lot. I'm telling y'all, this is beautiful. And also, in stock on the website now are the hand creams and yes they're very very tiny guys but they pack a punch a little bit goes a long way you don't need to slather them on your skin i mean it's just for your hands you know after you do your little hand sanitizer or you wash your hands then you put this on if you're wearing any of these fragrances to intensify the scent and keep that scent going just throw this in your purse it can fit in any bag it's so little and cute and like i said very fragrant and packs a punch okay now let's get to the fragrances and these aren't in any particular order i'm just grabbing so the first one on the list is hachibat i don't speak about it that much y'all but i wear it a lot i wear it more than i speak about it on this channel i love this fragrance and if you guys don't hear me speaking about a fragrance on my channel it doesn't mean that i don't wear it anymore or that i don't love it it just means that i'm not gonna bring every single fragrance to my channel because it just depends on the type of video that i'm doing what's happening or what i'm wearing currently at the moment but it doesn't mean I decluttered it. I have all of my fragrances and I love all of my fragrances. So Hachibat is one that I don't speak about a lot when I'm speaking of my Nishani fragrances. I feel like Ani and 100 Silent Ways are the ones, and Templuo are the ones that I speak about the most. But trust me when I tell you, I love all of them, okay? This is a beautiful, woody, strong, powerful pineapple fragrance okay it does not smell like creed aventus um for him <laughs> um the original creed aventus it doesn't smell like any other pineapple fragrance i've ever smelled in my collection or in my travels you know of smelling pineapple fragrances it's beautiful okay i don't think it's for everybody i think it's a unisex scent but for me it's perfectly feminine for me i wouldn't suggest this as a feminine scent for a lot of women only because I've heard from women that this leans masculine on them. So 
listen to me when I tell y'all because what y'all do is y'all see a fragrance you see you know somebody holding it up in a video and y'all skim past fast forward and then you get the fragrance like oh she was talking about this she likes it you get the fragrance and it's like oh it's masculine I smell patchouli or I smell too many woods you got to listen to what the person is saying before you pull the trigger and I'm telling you, it's not a safe blind buy, okay? I'm telling you that it is a unisex scent that some women feel lean masculine. In my opinion, to me and on me, because we all have different body chemistries, fragrances are subjective, it doesn't lean that way in my opinion, and I do love to smell feminine. But it's perfect for me, y'all. Super long lasting, super projecting, compliment getting, is such a beautiful pineapple scent with a woody dry down. So it opens up with pineapple. There's grapefruit, bergamot, cedar, patchouli, jasmine, oak moss, and woody notes. I'm telling y'all, it's woody. It's not a safe flying by. When you hear pineapple, don't think Dolce & Gabbana pineapple. It's not a sweet, fruity, frufu la la type of scent like that. It has way more depth, way deeper. Just, oh my God, it's so beautiful, y'all. Like I said, it ain't for everybody, but you can save 30% tomorrow if you want to get it or if you want to get it for your partner for Valentine's Day or whatever. To me, it's an all-year-round type of scent. Although there's pineapple and grapefruit and whatever, it's an all-year-round scent. Like, it's a fruity scent that you can wear all year round. So, Hachibat by Nishani. Next up is 100 Silent Ways. Y'all, this fragrance is sophisticated. It's classy. It's sexy. It's universal. I feel like you can wear it all year round, any climate, any occasion. It's an easy reach, but you can wear it dressed up at the same time. You can wear it on a date night. You can wear it to work. It's a signature scent. It's just a beautiful, well-rounded fragrance that I feel like can fit in anyone's lifestyle. This has tuberose, and it's not a bubblegummy tuberose. It's not a sharp and a malic tuberose. It's just perfect, okay? There's peach. There's mandarin, uh, there's gardenia, there's orris, jasmine, vanilla, sandalwood, a creamy sandalwood, I will add, and vetiver. Now, I will say, I've heard from people that this smells like, or it reminds them of black opium. And I can see a little bit where you're coming from. A little bit, I guess, I can see it. But, I mean, honestly, y'all, like... <laughs> I love black opium, all right? Let's not get it twisted. But black opium, weird. Like, please, y'all. Like, please just stop the narrative because this is so sophisticated but still sexy and classy. I mean, it's just gorgeous. I love it. And I love black opium. I have that fragrance. But black opium is sharp. It has coffee. Um, It's just completely different from this. But... I can see what you're saying a little bit. Like, I'm looking at you like this with the side eye. But, um, yeah, Black Opium, we're <laughs> Nishani, 100 Silent Ways. Next up, we have Wulong Cha. I don't know if I'm saying it right, y'all, but I just love saying that name. And this is what the bottle looks like. It's more clean. It's like white and gold. It's gorgeous. Okay, this fragrance right here, if you're looking for the perfect spring summer scent, if you're shopping right now for that scent, because I don't know about y'all, but I'm ready to come up out of the sweaters. I'm ready to come up out the coats. I'm ready to come up out the Uggs. I'm ready to come up out the layers and the turtlenecks, this, that, the third. I'm ready for spring, summer. I'm ready for sundresses. I'm ready for all that, okay? This fragrance right here, you're gonna get this and smell this and you're literally gonna be at the edge of your seat like waiting for the weather to break because this is the perfect spring and summer scent so it has bergamot orange mandarin orange nutmeg tea fig and musk and you smell that sweet fig i love fig in my fragrances y'all it's a sweet fig but it also has like a little greenness to it and when i say green because a lot of y'all get scared when y'all hear green do not be scared okay for me green is like fresh it's not green like a pedigree type of scent or anything like that it just has like a freshness you know what i mean like a nice fresh green tea like it's just beautiful it's not a lot to the fragrance you know what i mean like it doesn't have like oud and this and that or whatever you know like a bunch of exotic florals and this that the third but it's just a very classy very sophisticated 
beautiful scent like i just love it and i cannot wait to wear it when the weather breaks wulong cha by nishani next on the list we have tuberosa and this is for my tuberose lovers but honestly y'all if you don't love tuberose i suggest still smelling this because you may still love this fragrance because it has tuberose and like i told y'all before tuberose can go real right or real wrong the tuberose in this fragrance you smell it but it's such a beautiful creamy slightly bubble gummy type of tuberose and i love that tuberose y'all I know some people say they don't like that bubble gummy tuberose, but I love it. So this has a lot of notes. So I'm gonna tell y'all some. Ylang Ylang, there's um, orange blossom, there's sweet orange, there's tuberose, gardenia, magnolia, jasmine, vetiver, musk, amber, and a creamy sandalwood. Let me tell y'all something. The sandalwood that they use in the Nishani fragrances is a creamy sandalwood because all of the fragrances have this creamy kind of like dried, oh, God, this is so, this is a bubble gummy tuberose with a creamy woody dry down. Obviously you smell more notes, but I'm just trying to give y'all like the basis of it. But it doesn't smell like my way or anything like that because that also has a bubble gummy tuberose, but it's not like this. This is a more luxurious, this is niche. Okay, so imagine that type of scent, but in a niche way. So if you love fragrances like my way, and Prada Paradox and those type of designer fragrances, I feel like you'll love this because it smells much more elevated, much more grown and sexy, you know what I mean? It's just a beautiful scent. And like I said, it's not that sharp animalic tuberose. I'm so happy about that because I love me a good bubblegum pop type tuberose. So Tuberosa by Nishani. Next up we have Zen and this is back in stock y'all. This was out of stock for so long and I wanted to talk about it in so many of my videos but I'm like I hate talking about fragrances that y'all can't get okay. So it is back in stock now. I'm hoping when you see this video it's still in stock but this is a beautiful date night fragrance. You can wear this all year round. It's super sexy. I don't think it's for everybody and I don't think that everybody's going to love it but try to get a sample if you can. But y'all, let me tell y'all the notes. You're gonna hear the notes, but it's such a beautiful scent, but I still don't think it's like a safe blind buy. You know what I mean? It opens up with black currant. There's rhubarb. And let me tell you about the rhubarb in this fragrance than the rhubarb in Delina. The rhubarb in Delina is very tart and it's very prominent. It's not that way in this fragrance right here. There's grapefruit, Turkish rose, gardenia, that creamy sandalwood again, vanilla, ambergris, and musk. It dries down super creamy, super musky. It's a beautiful, beautiful scent, y'all. Like I said, it's not for everybody. For me, it's a date night scent. You can wear it like, you know, other than date night, but that's what I reserve it for because it's super exotic to me. Not for everybody, but I absolutely love it. Zen by Nishani. Next up, we have Vain and Naive. And if y'all remember the video that I did with Bay. Um, fragrances that he loves on me like right before Christmas. This was in that video because he loves this fragrance on me. Let me show y'all my dent in this. Do y'all see that? This is one of those fragrances that I wear when I just want to please him. You know you have your fragrances that you wear that your man may not really love that much or he may have never even given you a compliment on it but that's what you feel like wearing that day so that's what it is. And then you have those times when it's like you know what let me just wear something that I know he loves and this is that fragrance, y'all. Vain and Naive. Super fruity. I feel like it's an easy, safer type of fragrance. Although, let me retract that because somebody told me that they're struggling with this fragrance. If you're watching this video, please leave it in the comments below so we can see why you feel like you're struggling with this fragrance. Because when I smell this, I smell a creamy, super fruity, sweet, feminine, girly fragrance. I don't see what is there to struggle with, but I would really love to know why you're struggling with this fragrance. So it opens up with orange, there's bergamot, raspberry, there's plum, rose, and jasmine, cedar, tonka bean, that creamy sandalwood again. I feel like that's the Nishani staple. Like that sandalwood is just, I mean, cause you smell it in all of their fragrances. It, it has that creamy sandalwood in all of the DNA, like in their fragrances. Um, benzoin, amber, musk, and patchouli. In this fragrance, the patchouli is not dirty. It's not giving masculine. It's not giving unisex. The cedar wood, cedar can be 
for me, like it can be very overpowering sometimes in fragrances. It's not like that in this fragrance, y'all. If you love raspberries in your fragrances, if you love creamy sandalwood fragrances, you will absolutely love this. Like I said, it's an easy reach. Um, men love it. Like I told y'all, Bay loves this. It's one of his favorite fragrances on me. I wear it all the time, as you can see by my dent. It's just a fruity, sweet, easy fragrance. You can dress it up. You can dress it down. Um, it's just one of those easy reaches. Could be a signature scent if you love sweet fragrances. This could be a perfect signature scent. I can see someone wanting to wear this all the time. All year round type of scent. It's just perfect, y'all. Vain and Naive by Nishani. Next up, we have Temp Fluo. Y'all, <laughs> when I tell you this fragrance is so freaking sexy, like honestly, if you love Libre, okay? Libre, it has a little bit of remnants to it, but it smells like a more niche, more expensive, more luxury version of uh, Libre, okay? But when you smell it, it kind of will put you in the mind of it. Y'all, I'm obsessed, okay? Like I love this fragrance. I got this fragrance at the end of August and I've just been in awe like ever since. I mean, Nishani just gets it right. I'm telling y'all, even with the fragrances that smell unisex to me, or not smell unisex, that smell masculine to me, they're still beautiful, beautiful scents. So Tem Fluo by Nishani. Last but not least, we have Ani. And I'm not gonna spend too much time because I feel like she was in a lot of my videos in the past recently. Just know this fragrance right here is a masterpiece, okay? Last long on my skin. Um, compliment getting. You can wear this all year round. I wear it all year round. If you wanted to just save it for the fall, winter, I can see someone doing that. But honestly, although it has like sandalwood and benzoin and cedar and patchouli, like it's still kind of light and airy enough that I can wear it in the spring and summer. You know what I mean? Because it's just like bomb. Like I'm not putting her down for a whole two seasons. No, like she needs to be warm because this is beautiful. It has that ginger in the opening. It has that woody base. You smell the patchouli. It smells a little bit earthy, a little bit green. It's a little spicy. It's sweet, but not like a cloying cake batter type sweet vanilla fragrance. I don't think it's for everybody, but I feel like give it a chance. This fragrance right here may take you by surprise because this, like I said, is a masterpiece. And I absolutely love this. Ani by Nishani. All right, guys, we've come to the end of the video. Don't forget tomorrow, you'll be able to save 30% on SoulVanguard.com on all the fragrances and body creams and body oils and everything that we spoke about in the video today with my code Aisha30. All the links and everything will be in the description box, so please check it out. If you're watching this video after Sunday the 5th, have no fear because my discount code will be always 20%. And the code is the great 20. So 20% on a regular okay but for this week and only 30 percent aisha 30 so let's talk about it in the comments below like we always do remember to stay safe be great stay great and always strive for greatness ai the great signing out but i'll see you in my next video peace